expand your answer to the question, how am I feeling? first episode of the Ask a Therapist show. My name is Lindsay Guichard and I'm an online licensed marriage and family therapist serving my clients here in California. And I'm also the creator of the mental health blog, thetravelingtherapist.com. We're going to do an icebreaker activity. And so right now the icebreaker is called um, expand your answer to the question, how am I feeling? So we're going to leave an emoji or a gif of how you're feeling in the comments below after I read the examples from this list I have in front of me. Now the common responses to how am I feeling are happy, sad, angry, scared, confused, strong, weak. I have a list in front of me of different words that we could use at different at three different levels of intensity and I'm going to read the, the lines, I'm going to read the top line of each of the intensities and I want you to keep your ear perked for if there is a word that's a little bit more accurate to how you're feeling right now. So here's the high intensity. We have I'm feeling satisfied, hurt, superior. Fearful, bewildered, potent, overwhelmed. And then the medium intensity level is I'm feeling cheerful, ashamed, remorseful, insecure, disoriented, capable, defensive. And then here is a list of the low intensity words. I'm feeling glad, lonely, fed up, nervous, uncomfortable. So if you feel comfortable putting a GIF or an emoji down in the comments and then right under it, the word that you're feeling, great. If not, um, just take note of a word that is uh, more accurate to your experience and just maybe just write it down somewhere or, th or think about it. So um, I, it, within the last couple of days, I have not received a mental health question. So I decided, and I kind of was prepared for that because this was kind of a, a, an instant thing that I was doing. So we're gonna do therapist choice tonight. And so <laughs> the therapist wants me. Um, so I've chosen to talk about Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And if you need more information of the history of Maslow, I've provided a link in the description for you. It's about a six minute video that's going to talk about the history of Maslow. So it's time to identify where in the hierarchy of needs we are struggling or we're feeling stuck. So we're going to take a pen and copy this down on a piece of paper. We're going to draw two triangles. With one or on one triangle, we're going to label five sections. On the other triangle, there's also going to be five sections, but in the sections, we're going to be putting down some characteristics of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So with the first triangle, I'm going to read off the section names and I'm going to start from bottom to top. So at first we have psychological needs. Next we have safety needs. Then we have social needs. Then we have self-esteem needs. And then at the very top of the triangle, we have self-actualization. Okay, once you've got those, uh, those sections labeled, now we're going to go over to the other triangle and we're and I'm just going to list off some characteristics from each of those sections that I just named off. So starting from the bottom, we have psychological needs, sorry, 
<laughs> we have physiological needs. And that uh, uh, an example of that is breathing, food, water, sleep. The next section up is safety. And some examples of those are security of body, of employment, of resources, of morality, of the family. Hmm. Hi there. So uh, I was in the middle of the it's in the middle of the Ask a Therapist show and it stopped working. So we are going to continue so that uh, everybody has, hi, <laughs> we're going to continue. So everybody has everything. So I believe where I stopped was um, in the belonging section. And so we were gonna write down friendship, family, intimacy, and then the next section up is esteem. So we're gonna write down self-esteem, confidence, achievement, respect of others, respect by others. And then the last section at the top is called uh, self-actualization. And we are gonna write down morality, creativity, spontaneity, problem solving, lack of prejudice, acceptance of facts. Okay, <laughs> that's the episode I have for us tonight. And uh, what I want to share with you is that I did create an online course called Build Your Boundaries course. And so if you're interested in that, the, the course is linked in the description and it's the description of the first video. And so you can find that. It's gonna be at the top of the page of the link and you can get that. And then uh, also, if you wanted the show notes, just let me know by DM uh, with your name and your email, and I can send those off to you. All right, have a good night, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.